up everybody welcome back to the channel and guys i wanted to take this opportunity to just uh talk to you a few minutes about the channel um if you don't give a crap about the channel then you might as well just turn this off because uh probably won't like it um but anyway i am in the new shop the new shop is just about done um the the end of the year is almost here and um with all the different projects and stuff coming in what i wanted to do um is Kind of get your feedback and your input as far as what you want to see on the channel um, obviously there's going to be a lot of fox body builds um, but i also wanted to kind of ask you about some of the other stuff that I'm, I'm wanting to do now obviously i'm going to do whatever the hell i want to do on this channel because it's my channel but i also want to deliver value to you and i want you to see cool stuff cool projects that maybe i wouldn't think of stuff like that so let's get into that Okay, guys, so the, the first order of the business is what really interests you. And again, I, I, I do want your comments. I do value your comments a lot. Um, so let's talk about um, Coyote and Pushrod. I'm really trying to mix that up because I know there's a lot of you that love the Pushrod content. I know there's a lot of you that love the, um, the Coyote content. So I've got a big mix of that. Um, obviously, number seven Coyote Swap's about to start, and we've got a bunch of customer cars coming in. So the Coyote stuff is covered. I'll have more and more details that maybe I didn't cover on my build on some of these. So anything that you might have missed, I will cover it. Um, so that's number one as far as the Kyler stuff. For the push rod stuff, I've got um, Corey 79. We're doing the Nitrous Windsor in that car. And then um, my next build that is coming is going to be a two-tone GT, old school, like heads cam intake, you know, um, alphabet cam, Vortex Supercharger, all that. So, you know, we're going to have the push rod and the uh, modular stuff covered as far as the Fox body build. So, I promise, no worries there. So, I guess the biggest question I've got is I've got um, a couple other Mustangs and obviously um, want to do some things to those. Uh, we've got the, uh, the 2003 GT, which we've talked about, Coyote swapping. That's still kind of uh, in the wings. And I know just judging from the uh, feedback of the video that a lot of people are kind of into you know coyote swapping the edge car so that is a big possibility again you edge car guys drop that down below do you want to see the coyote swap done on the edge car do you want to see edge car content do you want us to do some projects on the the 99 to 04 possibly the the 94 to 98 cars um i don't have one of those cars but you know it's it's very similar from 94 to 04 very similar um, as far as some of the normal projects that you would do. So do you want to see some of that? Do you want us to go into, you know, some of the 94 to 04 stuff? We've got a couple of those. We've got Cody's Sonic Blue Supercharged, um, 04 GT, my 03 GT. Um, then we've got the black, uh, 2000 GT, which we can do projects on. So if you want to see some of that, we got you covered. Okay. So one of the other big things and the last time I put my 2016 GT on the channel was uh, when I took it to the dyno at 412 dyno and nobody seemed to really care about that video and so that was kind of my my hint or my clue that you guys don't really care anything about seeing any S550 content which is fine with me or maybe I'm just wrong and the video wasn't all that good but um, drop me a comment below because there are some stuff I want to do to the 2016 GT I want to put exhaust on it um, I'd like to do an intake, a 2018 intake, GT350 throttle body, uh, full exhaust, uh, tune, all of that stuff. Is that something you guys want to see? Does that interest you at all? Uh, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I know um, that a lot of you guys are like me in that you do have Fox bodies, and you love your Fox bodies, but you also have other generation Mustangs. Um, but I just don't know if you, know, you want to come here to see S550 content. So drop me a comment below. Do you give a crap about me doing the, the projects to my 2016 GT on the channel? All right, guys, and we do have other stuff. We've got the 68 F100 that's gonna get the Coyote swap and the Crown Victoria front end under it. That's gonna be a super cool build. Um, it's gonna be kind of a, a retro theme as far as the look. Um, but you know, do you guys wanna see that? Do you want me to cover doing a, uh, an old school F150 with a Coyote engine swap? Do you want to see other old school, you know, trucks or, you know, anything Ford? Um, that's the, going to be the bulk of the content. I'm a Ford guy. I don't have a problem saying that. And, um, you know, my Ford trucks are blue. My cars are, my, my 
cars or Ford. You know, it's just that's just I'm a Ford dude. Um, so if you like Ford stuff, it's all going to be here. So if you want to see that kind of stuff, again, let me know. Drop me a comment below um, if you're into seeing like some of the classic Ford stuff, especially mixed with the newer Coyote stuff, because the Coyote stuff is all the rage right now, and maybe you're considering it. Don't know. Okay guys, and last but not least, I do have, well, let me, how do I frame this? I have been considering doing some 80s and 90s, this, the stuff that General Motors and, and, and Chrysler and stuff was putting out back in the day um, to compete with the, you know, specifically the Fox Body Mustangs back in the 80s and 90s. So what I'm, what I kind of had in my head is maybe doing a video review about a Grand National or a, a G, like an 89 GTA Trans Am or an older, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. That was just something that I had in my head and I always thought the Grand Nationals were kind of cool simply because they did the, uh, the 5 versus Grand National shootouts back in the day. Those were super cool. And then, you know, of course the old school Camaros, the old school, um, Trans Ams and stuff like that. That was what, you know, the, the IROC Zs, the Z28s, that was what the, the Fox bodies were going up against back in the day. And so I also thought it would be kind of cool to maybe do some videos about a, a super nice example of one of those. Um, again, it's not something, it's not a car that I personally would ever own, but I do think now that they're a lot older, it's kind of cool to go back and, and see those cars and revisit it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Again, drop me a comment below. We'll see. All right, guys, so that is pretty much what I've got for you today. Um, I just, I've, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I know it's not super exciting, but while there's not a whole lot going on with the new shop getting built and all of that, I took the opportunity to say, hey, what do you want to see on the channel? So that's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, again, please feel free to drop me a comment below. Let me know because your opinion does matter. Um, you know, it's too time, too time consuming, too expensive, um, and all of that to do this just, because I love making videos, which I do. Um, but if I'm not making stuff that people enjoy watching, there's not a whole heck of a lot of point to it. So again, drop me a comment below. I do value your opinion. Love to know what you got to say. Um, and if you like this video, even though it was a lot of talking, please give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you smash that subscribe button because you never know what I've got coming for you. Everybody stay safe and uh, keep it tuned right here because I've got a lot of other announcements, a lot of builds coming. It's gonna be awesome. Take care guys.